surge in threats in the wake of the Paris terror attacks has Dearborn Police teaming up with the FBI. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville is live at Dearborn Police headquarters with more. Aaron? You said it, Heather. The city of Dearborn and the FBI are working together, guarding against any potential threat. So far, nothing credible, but they say it will take everyone to remain vigilant. When something like this happens, it's kind of second nature. We just ramp up. We go into high alert for our communities. A tense and sensitive time in the city of Dearborn. The chief telling 7 Action News his officers on heightened alert after a recent alleged threat. The FBI now working with the city to ensure the safety of its residents. Hamad Hamad of the American Human Rights Council comparing it to the time after the attacks of September 11th. I see it more even better. Uh, I see lots of uh, misguided, uh, misinformed uh, uh, allegations and uh, accusations. Dearborn has officers dedicated to watching social media. That's where a recent rant was uncovered. We had a person who wrote some pretty awful things on a, on a, on a website kind of suggest, just suggesting people get their guns and go shoot people in Dearborn. I mean, that, that's something that obviously gives us great pause. Um, but it was immediately then tracked and we, we were able to identify and that's being pursued independently. But yeah, there's a tension, but it's a tension everywhere. Because of that, Dearborn had officers working overtime, guarding vital infrastructure, taking them away from other areas of need for two to three days. As they share intelligence with the FBI this week after the attacks in Paris, so far no credible threats in Dearborn or southeast Michigan. We tend to be targets sometimes. Uh, sometimes anger is vent against our city by those who don't know us, and that causes anxiety. The mayor, of course, is always urging anyone to report anything suspicious or out of the ordinary, saying the better information they have, the better protection they can give. For now, we're live in Dearborn, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. All right, Aaron, thanks so much. And at number